Hey everyone, this is Jody from Joderson Art and today we're going to be working on a bigger canvas. This is a two foot canvas and the reason why I'm showing you um, how to lay down the pillow paint is because I find when I'm working on a bigger canvas, especially with a swipe, if I don't level it out, I can get cracks in that painting. Um, and one of the worst things, and we all know this as artists, is when we have a beautiful painting, we're super excited, we go out in the morning and we look at it and there's a big crack in it. So I found that if I take the paint and put it on the spinner, bring it out to the edges first, spin it out, it gives me a nice foundation from which to start my painting. So here we go. As you can see, this is a nice level canvas that we can start with. Super shiny can see my reflection, sorry about that. And today we're gonna to be working with palette knife. And I find palette knife painting very relaxing and super satisfying. So the first color we're gonna be using, and this is Kiwi by Color Art. This is a beautiful green. I find it difficult to work with greens, but this one never disappoints me. And now we're gonna put a little interference gold. This is another color art pigment right on the top of this. And if you watch my channel or you've seen my work, you know I use this pigment a lot. It really adds a lot of shimmer. So I've loaded the palette knife with the cell activator on the back, and we're just gonna move that through. And just remember it's your painting and that you can move your palette knife through any way you want to. So my intention that I set before I started this painting was I wanted to make it abstract botanical. So I'm going to repeat that process that I just did right on the other side, just on a bit of an angle and a little bit higher. It's important to clean your palette knife after every swipe because if you get any pillow paint left on the palette knife and then you try to load the cell activator it won't get you any cells it'll be a fail so just take a little paper towel make sure it's nice and clean So I wanted to add a pop of red here, and this is Hot Cinnamon by Color Art. This is a very densely pigmented red. If you want a red to show up in your painting, this is definitely one of the pigments that I go to. And this is your Amsterdam Violet. This is a tube paint. And all of my pouring medium and everything that I use is always listed in my description. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And I'm pretty good about getting back to people. I'm gonna throw a little bit of interference violent on top of this. And this will give me a little bit of a color shift and a little bit of a sparkle without um, having it be over blingy. I guess sometimes too much sparkle in my painting is not something that I care for. So I'm just moving that paint around. It's always satisfying no matter how many times you do this to watch your cells pop up. So my intention also was to leave a lot of negative space on this big canvas. So here at the bottom, I'm using a little bit more of that interference gold. And I'm going to add a little bit of that interference violet right on top of that. 
And interference colors are so magical, especially when you use them against black because they look white until you put them on the black and then they really come to life. We're just gonna repeat that on the other side as well. And here I'm just going over some of the spaces that I missed. If you're interested in any of the color art pigments, I do have a discount code for 20% off. That's Jorison Art 321. And so I'm just kind of touching this up. And it's okay to have paint left on the canvas that hasn't been swiped, especially when you're spinning really can add some depth to your painting. And if you like my content, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone because um, I was just such a bloomer for such a long time and I'm just trying to find out what it is that I like to do and what I really enjoy doing um, because we, I did so much mimicking of other art when I first started and I think we all do that um, when we're doing fluid paintings but you know as I grow as an artist I'm just trying to find myself and what it is that I really like to do so here sorry about the lighting it's a little weird um, but I'm just spinning and opening this up just a little bit so I don't want to like spin it and have the colors go all the way to the edge. I just want to open up the painting a little bit, but that lighting will kind of correct itself in a minute. So if you can just be patient. So as you can see, it's just opening up. cleaning up the edges a little bit and I do have the dried result at the very end of the video as well so here we go I really like this, it's interesting, it's different. I was uh, a little out of my comfort zone with putting those reds and greens, even though they're complementary colors together, but here it is and here's your dried result. If you like my page, please like and subscribe. Thank you.